Zbarth, back here on the front porch at Timbuktu. We're here with some great ideas. We've got a new product that we want to show you. We got a postman that brought us a bunch of emails and a big sack. We want to talk to you all about what was in them. And right now, I'm going to see if we can get Dr. Doctor to come see us. I think we sent the uh, the turnip truck over there to get him. Let me see if they got him yet. Good food you got in there. You eating your lunch? <laughs> That's the best bonus thing I've ever had in a long time, right there. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Herman, Herman Cox. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Better Health Technologies. Yep. Uh, Herman, what, what do we have here? Well, uh, it's kind of interesting you brought this subject up here. That's called the uh, Eco Tonic. Ecotonic is a new product that uh, Black Cow and Black Gold is producing right now. And uh, this is a, a, a worm-based uh, microbial tea. Right? We've heard about people making worm teas, casting teas, all this stuff. Well, they have to go in, they have to use a pump, they have to put some molasses in it, you have to let the water sit. You, you can't have too many bubbles. Too many bubbles, too few bubbles. So all of this stuff going on is like making a cake. It won't work. All right, we're not saying that, to, that it won't work in general, but if you want to make the process a little easier and get more productivity out of the product, what we've done down at Better Health Technologies, working with Black Cow and Black Gold, is to produce... Uh, uh, it's an organic, beyond organic chemical reaction kind, where we're taking the castings, we're mixing a dry molasses with it, we're also adding some oxygenating agents that are, that are all organic, and it's uh, fairly simple, fairly simple. What are, we, what are we using this on? We're using this on, uh, as you know, you've been out uh, working on golf courses and farms and you know, cattle farms, flower gardens, and vegetable gardens, and uh, uh, plants in general, any kind of plants in the yard, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, I wouldn't advise putting it on my dog for fleas or anything, but uh, I would I would use it as a as a nutrient enhancer for my soil and my garden. So if you've got uh, black cows, we use in our laboratory process. We use. We have some raised bed gardens and we strictly have black cow in there. We have plants going, growing in there. And what we do is we use only this tea process. And we've had remarkable results from this process. You can fold it, spray on this. You can put it, uh, spray it directly to the root system. Uh, we even take our sprayers and kind of stick the wand down about five or six inches out from the plant and put a couple of squirts on there. and. Uh, it's remarkable what the, 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 the root base and the root growth is on this because we're building good bacterium in the soil and around the roots. Now, what's fabulous about this process is when people are trying to grow organisms in their tea brews, this process has organisms already in the process as a dormant organism. So, I'm going to show you a little bit about how this process works, Steve. I know we have, we, we, we got, got a, a bucket here for you. Right, we got a head a little bit. So you basically take a five gallon bucket, you fill it about three quarters of the way up with water. If you're using city water, uh, Steve went out and got this at the well, so it's good water. But uh, if you're using city water, if it's got chlorine and all, you need, that, you need to evaporate that out of there. So I would let that water sit for at least 24 hours and evaporate the the uh, toxins out of it, the chlorines and all before that. Before we add anything to it. Before you add anything to it. And the process is fairly simple. You get this in a bag, you pick it up at your local sales store, your hardware store, your garden center or whatever, and it'll be in a lot of shelves near you very soon. And uh, now this process is just simple. All the instructions are on the back, they're in the bag, and uh, 
the whole system is here in one bag, and I think this, this is the most reasonable process I've seen because this produces a five-gallon bucket full, and you can do an acre with that. You can mix enough water with it to an acre. I remember you guys were using them on the golf courses. I think your technicians were putting uh, uh, 10 gallons of this to 300 gallons of water. We were. And you were spraying like five or six acres worth of golf course greens. And uh, we, were, we were measuring roots. Roots. Not the grass, roots. but we were measuring the roots. And we'd take a plug, and my gosh, would we see some action going on. That's right. I mean, the roots were quadrupled in size in a short period of time. And, and, and you could actually see, we went out with microscopes for better health and actually checked some of these root systems and looked at these organisms and man, they were fighting off the nematodes, they were doing everything. And we kind of used this uh, process kind of like a bar fight. You know, we, we went out somewhere and they had a bar fight going on and there was five bad guys and a lot of people say, well, I've got five organisms in my process. And, well, we brought about 30. And uh, we Changes the game. We figure somebody's going to leave out of there in charge, and it's going to be some of our guys. Yeah. So uh, what we've done here is, uh, I'll take this one apart and kind of show you. It's very simple. You just pull the top off of it. And in this bag, you're going to have an oxidating agent in here. And uh, it's all organic, beyond organic. And this takes away the air pump. You don't need the air pump for this. We're talking about microorganisms. Micro, uh, so you don't need uh, a big old pump to make these things come alive if you add them into the process. So I'm gonna set this aside. Uh, in here, you've got two other ingredients. In here, you've got uh, you've got your organisms that come in a separate packet, and you've got this uh, dried molasses, which is the food for the organism. This is the food for the organism. Yes. So now we take the tea bag out. They've kind of ingenious what they've done here. They've, they've taken a strainer bag, and you have the right amount of castings and manure base in this, in this bag to produce 10 gallons of this material. It's already in a strained bag. It's already a strain. So it's basically like making tea. And uh, I have went ahead and put a little bit in this container here, and it's only been in here a couple hours. And so every so often you can come around and, and stir it up, or you can take the bag and dip the bag up and down every so often, but leave the bag in there. And what's going to happen is, is the organisms in this bag is going to come alive. Now, as I add the molasses, as I add the oxidating agent and the organisms, and they're all going to come in little bags like this, and I can take this thing and stir it up a little more. I'm going to move them around in there. Now, we talk in big processes. We have some cattle farms that like using this process. And we have big totes, these big 285-gallon uh, totes. And if you take these bags and you drop these bags in those totes and you hang them from the top, or you can hang this from the top, you don't necessarily have to, but it, this can just sink to the bottom, it's not a problem. But what, what you'll find, if you leave this in here for a period of time, these organisms start crawling up trying to get to the air process. So they're eating the, they're eating the sugar, they're trying to get the air. They're multiplying at the same time. They're they? multiplying millions of them on a pin head in a small amount of time. So this is the quickest way to grow organisms to your plant, and to your root system in a natural process a natural process. And it is very remarkable. It's very it's safe. Friendly for your cat, friendly for your dog. Friendly for anything. You can spray this beside your animals while you're spraying your lawn if you want to, spraying your garden, spraying your flowers. We have, and, and, and this is a multi-phase process here because what happened is, is I'm telling you that there's five gallons of water here basically, and here's a bag. Now when I brewed the first batch of this, I'm going to take this out, put it with that X amount of water that I need for my garden area. And uh, say I've got a, a fairly big garden and I've got my vegetables and all. I take this and I can either put it in a, a, a watering can or I can put it in a pump spray because it's draining now. So in a pump spray right out of your pump spray. 
I can go out and spray all of my garden as much as I want to, will not hurt the plant, foliage spray, root spray, come back, hit my wife's flowers or whatever, hit the garden around the house, you know, and then I can come back and drop this bag in some more water again and brew it again. Now we can't put too much of this on, can we? You cannot put too much of this on. How often should we normally use it? Uh, we, we recommend that you do it uh, uh, once every couple of weeks or a month, you know, you can You're building those organisms in the ground. So right, the, right. The, the, the more often you use it, the richer you get that soil and the more right, right. organisms you have in there. That's right. Now, I want to give you a little advice. I wouldn't take this bag and close this bag up somewhere, but I could take this bag and drop it in here even a third time if I wanted to if I wanted a, a weak foliage spray for later, but still going to be effective. The organism's still going to grow. We're giving organisms to the roots. We're giving right. organisms to right. the ground. Yeah. You're going to lose some organisms that's going to drown in the process, but like I say, we bring enough to the bar fight that we don't have a problem. All right? So we're multiplying by the gazillions, if you want to say that. Yeah. All right? Now, when I'm done with this bag, I take this and I cut it open. And I take me a tablespoon and I go around to my great tomato plants or watch how good I am. And I go in there and I put two or three scoops of this around each tomato, about two or three inches out from the, from the base. It's been enriching that, that whole bowl. Man, I'm, 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 I'm triple enhancing it. I'm super enhancing it now. Okay, That's going to be one happy point. That's right. We have we have people that take this, this, this uh, mush, we call it, and... Uh, they put it on bad spots in the yard. They put it on a, on a section they want. The wife loves this stuff here to put on the flowers. Oh man, this just works miracles on flowers when you do that. And uh, so once you've used it all up, you take this little bag and throw it in the trash along with this and whatever. And, you know, look what you've done. Look what you've done with this one process right here. And it's very reasonably cost. Boy, what a great idea. Right, so a great I, invention. I think it's ingenious what Black Cow is trying to do with this process here. And uh, I know in our uh, raised beds we have, and we're also working with this process uh, in our hydroponic systems as a nutrient. Uh, that process is in the lab testing phases right now, but we hope to have this product out later also for using it in hydroponic gardens. If you, if you got grass, if, if you've got flowers, if it's got a root, you got a farm, if it's got a root. If it's got a root and you want a root, I mean, I wouldn't It's going to like this stuff. I don't use it. I don't think we ought to use it for hair transplants and all, but uh, uh, I can imagine somebody trying to sleep with it on their head. <laughs> but uh, we don't recommend that. And it's and it, it's safe for humans and safe for animals. And, and uh, you don't have to put on your, your gloves and all of this stuff, you know, to do this process. You know, you can put your hand down in here, won't hurt a drop, won't hurt a drop. You know, rinse it off when you're done. You're going to work with a plant anyway, right? And uh, I believe in eating a clean plant to help your body, and that's what we do at Better Health, is why we, we're very much interested in this process, but the fact is that we work with from the plant to the health care. So uh, we, we, we believe in... And a good strong root system, the same as a good it's, root system. It's called life. the chain. Isn't it? it is a chain of life, is what this is. Now, uh, I'm going to show you how dark this has gone here. Just a couple hours, and it's just I'm just going to scoop some out, put it in this clear container. Here. I mean, this this tea right here. I mean, that duck guy, he can't make tea this good, <laughs> and I believe he'd be over here trying to drink this right here. But uh, look at look at the richness of that tea right there. Now, if you put this under a microscope, whoo, you wouldn't believe how many organisms crawling around there right now. You got a little tiny fish <laughs> swimming all over. This is a pond on its own right here. Pond yeah. on its own right here. So, uh, you know, I I think that you ought to uh, uh, go by your local hardware store or garden center and ask about the black cow ecotonic. And also the other black cow products there. This this works great with their compost cow manure process. And uh, we haven't found anything better. We haven't found anything better on the market. We have not. 
And it's just good for the environment, it's good for you, it's good for your neighbors, it's good for everybody. And it's a good subject to talk about with your neighbors. And you say, I'm out here making some tea, and they're thinking they come to drink something. But well, where I live, there they have shallow wells. And one of my neighbors came over and he asked me, he said, what are you, what are you putting out there on your grass or on your plants? And everything is very uh, interesting to all of us people that all have shallow wells in this neighborhood. We'd like to know that everybody's taking into consideration our water supply. That's right. That's right. And, and this this is a nutrient like anything else, but it's it's not synthetic. It's not synthetic. This is natural. It was already on the ground before, and, and when the animals are, it's still on the ground. And uh, it, it's just a safer process. A safer process overall, but it's healthy all the way through. Yeah. So uh, I think that. Uh, does you have any more questions? I think this pretty much sums up this segment of it about how it works. And uh, it's, it's a very simple process. And anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. Another great product. Come to you from the front porch. And black cow. Buck two. And black cow. And black cow. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much.